UH-60 Black Hawk. Manufacturer, Sikorsky Aircraft. Type, multi-role medium helicopter. Power plant, two General Electric T-700 GE-701C turboshafts. Principal armament, two 7.62 mm six-barrel miniguns. 16 Hellfire anti-tank missiles. Carrying capacity, 11 troops or 8,000 pounds cargo. Maximum cruising speed, 160 miles per hour. By the late 1970s, the Huey was looking long in the tooth, and the Army arranged for a competition to find a replacement. Sikorsky won that competition, and the Black Hawk was born. If the Huey is the helicopter identified with Vietnam, the Black Hawk is the helicopter identified uh, with post-Cold War operations, with everything since the fall of the Berlin Wall. You uh, almost, in, in our military, uh, will never go anywhere without them. Some number. Doesn't have to be a lot, but, but what it gives you is the versatility to influence the situation you find yourself in. Nicknamed the Night Stalker, the Black Hawk is an evolutionary airframe. With its large cabin, it can fulfill a number of mission sets, including medevac, reconnaissance, command and control, and resupply. It can also take 11 fully armed troops into battle and has the capability to carry a formidable payload of missiles, rockets, cannons, and electronic countermeasures. As an evolution from, let's say, the Huey, it is a much more modern aircraft. It does have integrated night flying systems. It does have integrated navigation, GPS systems. So whereas the Huey pilot might have to have a crumpled map folded on his lap to figure out where he's going, the Black Hawk pilot has things like heads-up displays and night vision to get him where he's going. As a pilot sitting in the uh, Black Hawk, it responds very nicely, very comfortable in high winds, very comfortable in adverse weather. It's almost uh, a magical experience for me as an old Army aviator to watch the confidence, and maybe that's the best word, the confidence that, that the Black Hawk gives our Black Hawk crew. The Black Hawk first tasted action in Grenada in 1983, and it's been involved in every American campaign since. In 1991, the Black Hawk played a key role in the ground war to liberate Kuwait. 300 choppers carried 5,000 troops of the 101st Airborne deep into Iraqi territory, and the concept of a Helleborn assault was invented. Black Hawk performed very well in the Gulf War. It had some problems in the desert, like uh, all other aircraft did with sand. Uh, improvements were made to the airframe to overcome this, and uh, it's operating there as we speak today. Of course, no helicopter that goes into combat is indestructible. On October 3, 1993, two Night Stalkers were shot down over Mogadishu, and the phrase Black Hawk Down passed into legend. As tragic as that incident was, it hides the fact that the Black Hawk is a gritty survivor, as well as having protective armor that can withstand hits from 23mm shells. It has an array of cutting-edge safety features. The Black Hawk has had the greatest record on crashworthiness of any of the helicopters uh, in the U.S. military today. The crew seats will stroke 12 inches, so that means when the airplane hits the ground, their seat strokes 12 inches down, which absorbs an enormous amount of energy. In their photographs of crash Black Hawks in which the thing is totally destroyed, and you get a picture of the crew seats, they're intact, the two pilots got out totally uninjured. With over 1,500 U.S. Army Black Hawks flying worldwide, this backbone of America's helicopter fleet looks like it's going to be around for a while longer. If the maintenance office issues you a Black Hawk, it is going to be flyable, no matter how much inspecting you do on it, and it is going to take you out into uh, harm's way and bring you back every single time. The Black Hawk's unrivaled survivability scores it high marks, while its versatility is also impressive. Innovation marks are good, as are service length. But with a low fear factor, the Black Hawk has to settle for second place. <laughs>